Okay, so we're going to start off uh, as you usually do with that time here, is with the engine. Uh, so we're making up most of this. Um, this part of the front has its made up colour. Right, so I'll see how accessible that is before we start gluing anything together. Because if we can't get at it to paint it, I'll uh, just build the bottom these few sets and wait to, uh, to paint that on top. The most of it, apart from little bits, is uh, tier 17, which is you can find it on the front. Is gloss aluminium. Well, uh, what I'll be using is the uh, metal colour with. gives a good finish. So I'd say we make up this part. It's part of the back of the uh, bits of the back of the um, piston heads and a bit of the bottom down there. Um notice it's got uh, like the six pistons cut out but there's nothing actually goes up and down them it's just a bit of extra detail. Um, then we go on to uh, building the bottom of the engine, a few other bits and pieces to put a fit on. Um, quite often with uh, Tamiya engines you may build it all up in, because uh, most of it's all in one colour. Uh, this is sort of half and half, you've got the aluminium and then this made up, which is four parts um, titanium gold I think that is, and uh, all red. So it's sort of a dirty gold colour comes out at. So there's a few of these parts need to be made up in that, that colour. And uh, let me get to the top, the heads. Again these are all uh, aluminium, all they made up gold colour with the chrome bits uh, picked out. Then we can do the Operators. Again, one of the detail sets it has these uh, uh, funnels so we can fit in the detail parts on. And can we can make up the clutch again for one of the detail parts? Um, so we'll do that. See how we're going with that. Um, see how long it all takes. Looks like we probably fit one part with just the engine. Um, so we'll get on with uh, doing that. So what I'll do first is I'll cut. The, uh, the parts for part one out and uh, clean up any uh, nubbage. Um, but looking at it, there's no certainly no flash or anything. So you wouldn't expect that from a uh, tummy model. Lots of detail. To the uh, top of the clutch there. So yeah. Um, Cut out the details, I'll get them cleaned up and um, we'll see if we can do a little bit of a test fit just to see how things look. And uh, right, so I'll be back once I've uh, cleaned the uh, removed and cleaned some of these bits up and we'll have a look and see where, uh, where we are with painting and things. Okay, back in a minute. Okay, so this is where we're up to. So I've done uh, a few little uh, Sub assemblies. So this is the bottom of the engine. So this part is uh, painted in the uh, gold colour. And there's other parts at the top. This is done in uh, aluminium. So back parts of the engine. Got under there somewhere. That's uh, aluminium. So I've done them in separate parts. To, uh, to make it easy with the painting. See these are the gold colours, top of the cylinder heads. Okay, and the little uh, end bits, which are going to roll in the old gold colour. Stuck them down and here. Um, the other parts as well, they'll be made up in metal. So I can uh, prime them on there and then paint them their uh, own colour on there. So that keeps them uh, Andy. So, uh, 
last bit of construction I need to do is oops, sorry about this, can take a little bit more ways, is to make up the uh, cylinders themselves. It's made up of seven pieces, so we've got six here and the seventh there because these from parts these get painted 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 in the gold colour as well. So these are fairly easy to uh, put together. So as you probably guess they uh, go up in size. So each part has a different arrangement of little pins, so they all match up with those three little holes there. And so this one has two pins at the back, so that matches up with these two holes. This has two diagonal holes and one hole, two diagonal holes and one hole, and this has got two pins, one pin. For this part, one pin, one pin diagonally across for each other. There you go, and then this one will go on top. And these lugs will go down these four little holes and hold it together. I say I'm going to do that in my separate because these need painting up before they're inserted. So, what we'll do is we'll get that. Part glued together. sense with the uh, this pin here points towards the back Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so there's where we're up to. Lots of assemblies. That's the bottom of the engine done in gold colour. And cylinder heads and things in aluminium. Old gold. 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 And gold. Not part of the engine, but it is painted in the uh, the gold colour. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll prime everything in the gloss black primer and then we'll uh, see if we mix up the colour for this. Okay, so get on with some priming. Back in a minute. Okay, so that's uh, everything it's in the uh, gloss black primer. Just let that dry, and then, as I say, we'll make up the uh, green colour, which uh, green colour, gold colour, which is uh, four parts titanium gold X31, and one part XF64, which I think, if I'm instructions is 64 red brown which I think I've got somewhere so once this is all dry we'll make that up and uh, spray some bits uh, the thing in the meantime because this dries fairly quickly I might do the aluminium parts which I will be doing with that's colours aluminium okay I'm going to need to get some new Stop hinting that. So, once this about half an hour of the engine, it's either the gold colour or the aluminium. All the little pieces, they're all going to be uh, the gold colour. Um, it's like grey, I think. This one's chrome, copper, and XF31. Titanium gold on its own. So, so we'll put those to one side, let it have a dry, and then uh, we'll do some painting. And uh, then we'll see about what sort of detail I want to put on the engine. Okay, so, see you in a little bit. Okay, so what we've done is mixed up the uh, dark gold colour, which is basically, mostly X31, titanium gold. Yep. And the red brown XF64. Leak it, stir it up, a little bit thinner. And uh, so we'll spray that on the parts. I've done the uh, aluminium parts, I think they'll come out really nice. And the top head there. those. So what we'll do now is spray it with the other parts and uh, we'll show you what we're doing then. Okay, um, so yeah, see you in a minute. Okay, so I've sprayed up most of the uh, engine parts now. So it's the uh, titanium gold and red brown colour. As you can tell it's okay and picked out the nuts in uh, chrome and where they I assume uh, the pipe's going to fit on that later so a few more bits there we've done so what we'll do is let that uh, dry for a bit and uh, got a couple other bits and pieces to, to paint up Some details on those, so I've got a little copper lid there. Um, so just got these two to paint up. This one's metallic grey and titanium gold. And this is supposed to be chrome, but it's uh, it's not chromey, but there's I think the chrome needs a good stir before I do that again. I think we should wash it that. Um, so once we've done that, 
and let it dry. I'll come back and we'll uh, put the engine together um, and then we'll see what sort of detailing we want to do. And do a bit of panel lining on it, that sort of thing. Um, so uh, back in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to start on uh, putting the edges together. So I've got all the uh, the part together and put in a little copper cap there. So next bit is to put this bit in. This will go in because there's a little bit missing on the back, and that will line up with a little knob there. Nice and fiddly. Okay, that's on there. the top bottom half of the engine sealer. So just pop some glue in the little holes, line everything up. Then we need to put some side bits on. So these parts are coming to halves, bottom and top half here, and where these two lumps are, there's a poly cap in each. So later on, things are inserted and they'll uh, hold in place. on the side there. Okay, and another one on this side. So 
again it's the same thing it comes in two halves and two poly caps in there So that's move on to the uh, top bit up here. So these are so that's the front of the engine. So the one with the spike that goes on the back. up into the middle and the next one go down there so I can more glue about that so things we put on now okay so put some of these uh, end bits on these larger ones let's say some smaller large the larger ones have to go on the big cap there Silver nuts at the top. Like so. Bang 
some things. Looking much more finished now. And this last bit goes on top of, of here with this back a bit pointing towards the front of the engine. Lastly, we've got this part. Did an entirely great. That's coming very nicely. <coughs> very nicely. with that a little up there like so Much nicer now. Again, the little groove matches up there. Yeah, that's where we are with the, uh, the engine. Oh, sorry, just one little bit to go. So this goes. Find it, where are we? Almost a little bit here. Just trying to, trying to find uh, oh yeah. where the knobbly bit's up. So it goes that way around. Just dropped it on the floor. Bear with. If you managed to find it before the carpet monster got it. So anyway, let's let's, let's do something like. So let's clean that little joint off. So there's not much of a surface area. Well, uh, scrape the cloth. 
paint off. So there was a chance of <laughs> making a better grip. So I'm not showing you what I'm doing because it's a bit fiddly and I can't see it through the camera. Come off. That's better. Anyway. Try again. So what I'll do, I'll let all that glue dry off and then we'll think about what we're doing, uh, a bit of weathering. I'll do a little of uh, panel lining, that sort of thing, just to give uh, things a bit a bit of depth. So that's, uh, that's where we're up to. So as I say, we'll let that dry and I'll be back in a minute or two and uh, we'll do a bit of weathering. Um, I might give it a coat to clear first. If that's all, give it a coat to clear first. That'll make things run better. Okay, back in a minute. Okay, so here we are doing the first bit of the detail set. This is the uh, clutch. So we use these things alternately. In this little clutch plate, clutch plate there, and then the. The clutch plate goes on there. To put a bit of extra on there because the, the little nuts have a little round bit on the top and a bit in the middle there from a previous set, detail set, had a few little tops of nuts. So pull those on, just give that an extra bit of detail. So that one of those rings are in there will. On the side of the engine, and you'll be able to see the uh, the layers of the plates in the edge there. So what we'll do? This will come apart. There we go. So what we'll do? I'll cut these uh, rings out and uh, tidy them up. If you do anything with the uh, to etch, get yourself one of these. They're brilliant for tidying up the, uh, the extra bits. Um, little nubs and things. Um, so this is I'll uh, help you uh, cut things off. These two bits at the ends. These are two little tools for uh, making up the front forks. So they'll uh, leave those on for now, and we'll uh, we'll use those later. Um, this is for the uh, front uh, forks as well. Things for just underneath the, uh, the handlebar. So I'll, uh, I'll cut this off, um, and we'll come back when we're ready to put it together. See how it looks on the side of the uh, the engine. Okay, back in a minute. Okay, so that's the uh, the rings uh, tidied up. I must say this is serious uh, photo etch. So they brought the uh, you can use a cut photo etch off with uh, craft knife, but it uh, basically brought the end off. So I use my. Uh, your photo etch scissors and time file. So it says use four of each. So you four of the uh, round ones and four with the uh, lugs on. Which begs the question where to give you five. Anyway. So basically what we do is somewhere on camera. The lot, so it's uh, just going to one round, round one first, and then so it's a 
bit of a look on that one as well there. So we can get that cleaned up. I'm bashing everything. So I'll have to do it over here. I can't get it uh, in front of the camera. Because the little uh, lugs between the uh, teeth. It's hard to get out with the uh, up on your camera you can see all the little bits you've missed. See a little bit on the top of that look as well. So anyway, bear with me. In. Yeah, and another. And I'm grooved. That goes in this hole here. So in that, uh, as I mentioned, when I put the engine together, there's a poly cap. quite nicely that poly cap. So what I'll do in a sec is do a bit of a panel line wash on that just to detail it up. Don't need to do anything on the sides because that's all covered with the uh, photo edge. As you can see it's uh, it is quite thick. So that's where we are with that. What we're doing as well is this the uh, carburetors. So on here we've got some little, little funnels to fit on there. So I'll glue those on in a little while. So again, I put a bit of uh, panel line on this just to bring it up. Then I'll give it a spray with uh, a matte varnish because that's a bit too glossy that. Because I did this in, uh, what's called this one is? 53, got it ready now. Flat earth, yeah. Do them these in flat earth, so they're going to be their matte colour. So I've done a bit of extra painting. This was colour good to do these in chrome with black bits in the middle. But if you look at photos on uh, Google, it's like the bottom and the front of these are picked out in, uh, in gold. So I've done that. And a little bit of detail on the side again, and the knots underneath. So yeah, I'll give that panel line wash um, and that will fit on there. And then there's some hoses and uh, the uh, spark plugs to fit in as well. So we'll uh, do a bit of uh, panel lining on the, these and we'll fit that and then we'll have a look at doing, uh, see what it all looks like and then we'll cut some hoses off under the uh, spark plugs. Yeah, it's really cool. Right? Actually, there's one other piece I need to put in as well, and that is 
the guard for the clutch plate there, so that fits in like that. So we got that glued in. A bit and then we'll uh, do a bit of panel lining. So I've done some on the, uh, the main parts of the engine, can just bring it a little bit of depth around the engine. It's not mucky or too greasy or anything like that, it's just, uh, just gives a bit of depth of detail. So I'll do a bit more of that and that, uh, stick them together and then we'll, uh, we'll come back. That's the, uh, the engine done. So what I've done, apart from drop it, is put the uh, carburetors along there and put the uh, chrome air intakes in. The funnels on there, that look really nice. And as you can see, with a bit of uh, line washing there, it just brings out a bit more detail. I did spray it with matte varnish, but it's not gone very matte, but it's not too shiny either, so I'm sort of okay with that. And as you can see, I put some uh, hoses on here and on the spark plugs. The spark plugs I haven't glued in, uh, they're just displacing the little holes at the bottom uh, of there. Just in case when I put them, they attach these to the other end, or whatever, wherever they go, um, it tries to break anything. So uh, we'll see how that goes. So let's have a look around the engine. So this is the uh, the detailed clutch in there. See so the curling fins on there. They've got a nice bit of depth in there. Tops of the cylinder heads. Curly thing. Yeah, I think that looks really good. So as I say, here's a couple of the detailed parts. So there are the clutch and the, uh, the little funnels. They look really nice. Okay, so that's the engine bit, so we'll uh, leave that bit there and uh, we'll move on to uh, uh, doing the frame, probably do the frame next and then uh, after we've done the frame and fixed the engine to it, it's uh, going on to doing wheels and things and then chains, so we'll uh, have lots of fun to play with on there, so we'll, uh, so we'll do the frame next, because that seems pretty straightforward and uh, We'll be back.